good as this budding featherweight contender, if not future world champion, Mavsar Iavloyev. He has passed every UFC test, largely with flying colors. Hasn't really shown anything resembling an MMA weakness. His appetite for knowledge is otherworldly. He is honing his skills every day at the American top team in South Florida. And if you can keep your O and win while you learn, as he did against Diego Lopez when he was challenged and threatened and nearly finished several times over, that's about as good as it gets. So Mavsar Iavloyev spins it forward here tonight. Many people believe if he wins this fight, his next fight, if not for a world title, will at the very least be a title eliminator in a UFC main event. fight and not a guy who needs much of a throwing out process. He's probably going to throw 500 plus strikes tonight unless he gets a finish. All eyes on Max Holloway as usual as we get this one started. There's that jab from Max Holloway. Didn't take him long to find a home for that tonight. I mean, Max Holloway constantly fights behind the jab and you would expect it at the start of every single fight. The jab leads to everything else that he does inside the outfit. Back to the single and now is where things could get really interesting. Boyev's in half goal. That was nice. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, he's going triangle here. Now he's in trouble. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long too long for himself to get subbed. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Striking from every position lands a strike from the bottom. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes with your opponent. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Beautiful transition. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Minute and a half to go in our opening round. Yeah, boy, is in half guard now. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, good defense, yes. Oh, 
big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how, how skilled both of these men are. Big overhand right. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. He's past the half guard. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Mobsar. He of Royale. Uh, in a uh, very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. Great job out there. Your cardio is insane. All those sprints, all the conditioning we did in the gym has really proven itself. That is your key to victory. All right, so the crowd voicing its appreciation after that crazy sequence in the previous round nearly submitted him there, DC. This is usually what we get with striking, but tonight you have a very educated crowd. They appreciate high-level grappling, and they are getting that tonight in this fight. That submission was in deep, but wow, what a great job of escaping and living to fight another day. All right, let's get to round two. Defensive Savant, he blocked that punch. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Oh, big defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Big shot to the head. Oh, man, he had another punch to the head. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Just misses with the jab there. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. And now the hook in the clinch by Holly. Takedown defense holds up. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need? Ivoyev's got his arm under the chin, going for a guillotine now. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. How in the world did he escape that submission? Oh, nice little elbow to the body. He doesn't discriminate. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well wrong. Gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy. I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Reverses the position there. Nice transition by Ivoyev. Side control now. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Ivoyev. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's gonna lock him down. He's out again. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. There. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's it. Guillotine jump. Holloway's got a lot of weapons on both sides as he switches his stance here. Oh, he got up. We'll see how he chooses to defend here. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his more time. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. All right, take a seat, bud. Deep breath in. Breathe into that nose, out through that mouth. Some water. Listen, your kicks are working hard. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe to toe and let it all hang out. All right, so there's the end of the round. You know, few things more exciting in mixed martial arts than a submission, and he nearly had one there. He almost had Ready it. To fight. He had it locked Ready. in. 
He thought the fight was over, but his opponent was able to escape. But the next time, if he goes back to that position, maybe he gets the finish he wants so bad. Big punches. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Good uppercut there for Holloway. Big shot lands for both guys. He's able to slip the left there. Shots from the top. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Holloway. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Holloway's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Holloway's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Closed guard. Holloway's looking to pass into half guard here, but he's denied. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, right into Mao. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You, know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you, and try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Holloway gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Takedown defense is there. Well, that calf is starting to show signs of bruising now. And you can tell in the way that he's walking. It's starting to take an effect. Oh! All right, looks like he is going for a hip toss here. Yes, he is, and with amplitude, able to take him down. He got it. You know it. You know that it's coming, but he got it. He does a great job of disguising his technique. He is a fantastic of getting to this position. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, man, take a seat. Come on, let's get your act together now. I know you're better than this, okay? We're not going to let this guy outwork us. You're going to go out this round, and you're going to outwork him. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go we on. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting. <laughs> Separate after exiting the clinch. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches. Oh, he hurt again! Nice. Nicely done. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Holloway's limping. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. That's a big hook. Stuff to take down, no problem. Now some separation from this clutch position. A 
Under three minutes to go in round four. Oh, back and forth we go. Hands high, hands high. Push kick there to the body. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Big right hook there by the champ. And blocks the shot there. He has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. He's got that single collar tie locked in. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. He's getting very close to this submission. Oh, great submission defense. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Ivoya. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Well, how's that for a five-minute performance? The round is over mercifully for his opponent. You just got to make sure you stay the course, though, at this point, I would think, right? Because you nearly got the finish, but you didn't, and the opponent figures to make some adjustments. Absolutely, and he's from a great team, John. You know that the opponent's from a great team. So they're going to tell him all the right things in between rounds. So he's got to stay the course, as you said. Be calm, be patient. Do exactly what you did prior that put you in such a phenomenal situation going into the next round. You ready? You ready? Go. Here we go. Fifth and final round. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Hook is there again. I mean, what else can you say about that Max Holloway jab? Just makes it look easy. He makes it look easy, and now he's throwing them more. He's throwing more jabs because he has an understanding of what his opponent is doing in return every time he throws the shot. This guy's good, man. And we have seen him on multiple occasions have these star-making performances, which is why everybody loves Max Holloway. Yeah, Ployev's in half goal. Great shot from the top position. Win the scramble! Win the scramble! Three minutes now to go in the fight. Now he's got a good body position, yup. You can't kick all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Mavsar Yevloyev. Good arm bar attempt here. What a tight arm bar. Oh, look pretty tight, but he gives up on the submission. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Oh. 
All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far, perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Heavy kick. Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so the fight goes the championship distance, and you may want to get the black and gold colors out. We're getting a new champion tonight. He turned in a beautiful striking display tonight. This is one of the best performances that we have seen from a challenger in a really long time. He relied on the striking. He understood that that's where he had the advantage. He used all of his advantages, and I feel like we will hear and new very shortly. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 48-47, 49-46, and 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. So an absolutely incredible result here tonight. We are still digesting it right now. There he is, the new UFC featherweight champion of the world.